Gucci Mane's automotive collection includes the Ferrari 812 Superfast, a Lamborghini Aventador SV, as well as three Rolls-Royce models, the Wraith, Dawn, and Cullinan. Gucci Mane has a current net worth of $15 million. Now, let us take a look at this car collection. Number 1. Rolls-Royce Dawn This is a Rolls-Royce convertible car with 563 horsepower and a 0 to 100 kilometers per hour time of 4.3 seconds. Gucci spent roughly $400,000 on this car, which he personalized in red and white. It's reasonable to imagine it has a convertible version of the Wraith. The two share the same platform and mechanicals with the exception of the engine. But we assume Rolls wants you to think the Dawn as a standalone model, since it wants the Dawn to have its own identity. The Dawn does not have the dynamism of the Wraith. Instead, it is intended to be the most sociable of the luxury dropheads. It has four seats, not the 2 plus 2 of the Wraith, for people who prefer to soak in the sunshine of the world's most elite social hotspots. Just in case you thought Rolls-Royce wasn't done with this particular dish yet, it claims the Dawn is the sexiest Rolls-Royce ever constructed. Number 2. Rolls-Royce Cullinan He also owns a Rolls-Royce Cullinan, a premium SUV made in the United Kingdom. Although this Royce has 563 horsepower, it takes 4.8 seconds to accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour. He also painted this SUV the same crimson as his other Royce. This automobile is valued at about $400,000. Novitex Overdose Wide Body Package is also used on the outside of the luxury vehicle. It also features a new set of massive Vossen custom wheels. The inside is one of a kind, with red leather throughout and Lamello Ball's emblem carved in the headrests. The Ghost and Phantom are Rolls Two Royces limousine-like sedans, but the rich and famous, like the rest of the car buying world, aren't as enamored with the three-box shape as they once were. To appease this subset of mega-rich consumers, Rolls-Royce built the Cullinan, the pinnacle of the SUV species. The name of this colossal vehicle is derived from a gigantic diamond, which is appropriate given the youth's opulence and extravagant price. The Spirit of Ecstasy hood ornament announces the owner's affluence, while the back seat appears to be a living room. The Rolls-Royce aims to justify its astronomical price tag by providing a smooth V12 engine and a relaxing ride. While owners may personalize the cabin with their own selections, some of the material is troublesome, such as an inelegant digital instrument layout and an inflexible rear bench seat. The Cullinan 2021, on the other hand, is a mobile castle that pampers riders and dazzles onlookers. The twin-turbo 6.7-liter V12 engine on the Cullinan develops 563 horsepower and operates softly so as not to disturb the VIPs in the cabin. In our tests, we achieved a 60 mile per hour time of less than 4.5 seconds, which is incredible for a vehicle that weighs over 3 tons. Although all-wheel drive is standard, we doubt that buyers will deviate from the course and risk damaging the paint. The Cullinan has an air suspension system that uses data from a road scanning camera to automatically adjust the vehicle's height to adopt to road imperfections. The Cullinan floats along the road, conveying nothing unpleasant to the occupants, much beyond the rules of conventional luxury cars. The spacious interior is adorned with box grain leather, lamb's wool carpeting, and beautiful wood trim, and milled aluminum accents. If you want an even more opulent interior, Rolls-Royce will alter nearly every element of the Cullinan's already exquisite interior with any pleasure you can think of. Number 3. Rolls-Royce Wraith Gucci appears to be a Rolls-Royce lover, as evidenced by the fact that he owns a Rolls-Royce Wraith Coupe. This model is $350,000 and has been customized in blue. It is powered by a 6592cc V12 twin turbocharged petrol engine that produces 624 horsepower and is powered by a ZF Source 8 HP90 8 speed automated transmission, which is the more energetic of the two, given Rolls Royce's substantial, comfy vehicles designed to soothe rather than excite. You could think that it's not difficult. Despite the fact that the rear axle has been lengthened and the wheelbase has been lowered, the Wraith lacks a sport chassis at its heart because it is based on the Ghost Limo. It contributes to enthusiastic driving, Rolls argues, 
while steering weight is higher at higher speeds and lighter at lower speeds. The Wraith boasts a huge 590 pound-foot of torque available from 1500 RPMs, allowing it to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds. It's astonishing to drive in a car with lamb's wool floor mats, since it's faster than hot hatchbacks with similar power-to-weight ratios. Number 4. Ferrari 812 Superfast This is essentially a Ferrari FF resurrection. The automobile features a V12 petrol engine that produces 800 horsepower, and Gucci of course purchased it in red. The car's starting price is $340,000 USD. The H12 Superfast is offered with an automatic gearbox and gets 6.7 kmpl. In essence, the Superfast is a greatly improved version of the F12. It adds a significant increase in power, as well as changes to the transmission, suspension, aerodynamics, and steering to the market for front-engine Super GT Coupes, which Ferrari controlled and influenced with vehicles like the 250 and 275, the 365 GTB 4 Daytona, and the 550 Maranello. If only we Brits accounted for those horses in the same manner that they're rounded up and numbered on in the mainland, the power increase would push Maranello's current series production flagship above the 800 horsepower mark. What is Ferrari's goal in all this? To raise the A12's performance criteria even higher than the F12, Berlinetta's were in comparison to its competitors, and to provide it with the most compelling and satisfying driving experience imaginable, in Ferrari's words. Number 5. Lamborghini Aventador SV the Lamborghini Aventador SV boasts 750 horsepower and sits in the middle between the S and the SVJ models. Gucci modified this Lamborghini in blue and it cost him roughly $500,000. The Aventador powered by a 740 horsepower 6.5 liter V12 employs all wheel drive traction and improved aerodynamic stability to achieve a 0 to 62 miles per hour pace of 2.8 seconds and a Norch Life of lap time that rivals the Porsche 918. While most cars in this price range have standard luxuries such as a sound system and heated seats, the Aventador SV is solely focused on speed. As a result, nearly all of the amenities have been removed and replaced with lightweight panels, dual zone temperature controls and adjustable dampers, as well as multiple driving modes are also included to assist to make it more civilized on public roads. The SV is the ultimate Aventador, with ultra-sticky Pirelli tires, greater aerodynamics, improved handling, and a more powerful engine from the factory. Carbon fiber is used extensively throughout the vehicle, including the stiff one-piece carbon backs of the seats. While this reduces comfort, it does so at the expense of weight, making the SV a more formidable track weapon than its normal sister. The SV is a rare species of raging bull, limited to only 600 units, and with an asking price starting at nearly half a million dollars, only a select few can benefit from its skills. Number 6. McLaren S20S This automobile has 720 horsepower and a peak speed of 212 miles per hour, and he's painted it blue to match the Lamborghini Aventador SV. He paid between $350,000 and $400,000 for this vehicle. According to McLaren, 91% of the 720S is new, while 41% of the larger 4.0-liter engine is new, including turbos, intercoolers, cast aluminum plenum, cylinder heads, crankshafts, pistons, and exhaust. The top figures are 710 bhp, 568 torques, 249 CO2s, 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds, 0 to 124 miles per hour in 7.8 seconds, and 0 to 186 miles per hour, or 300 kilometers an hour, in 21.8 seconds, which are the top figures. Along with the hard parts, there's some very cool new software and a few theatrical touches. The doors are double skinned dihedrals that open to an angle of 80 degrees and the engine is not only visible, but also lighted through the back screen. What do you think about Gucci Mane's car collection? Let us know in the comments section below.